Practice SAP HANA Data Engineer C underscore HAMOD underscore 2404 Real Questions for Your Preparation 1. Why would you choose to implement a referential join? A. To develop a series of linked joins. B. To define conditions for potential data source pruning. C. To reuse the settings of an existing join. D. To automate the setting of cardinality rules. Answer. D. 2. What is the objective of calculation view instantiation? A. Generate an optimized runtime model based on a calling query. B. Identify potential performance issues. C. Trace of the runtime of a calculation view. D. Deploy a calculation view to a production system. Answer. A. 3. What are the advantages of column store tables compared to row store tables? Note. There are three correct answers to this question. A. Higher data compression rates. B. Improved write performance on frequent updates. C. Additional indexes are used. D. Parallel access is improved. E. Higher performance for query operations. Answer. A. D. E. 4. What are some best practices for writing SQL script for use with calculation views? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Control the flow logic using if-then-else conditions. B. Break up large statements by using variables. C. Choose declarative language instead of imperative language. D. Use dynamic SQL. Answer. B. C. 5. Why would you use the transparent filter property in a calculation view? A. To include columns that are not requested by a query. B. To avoid columns being unnecessarily used in an aggregation. C. To apply filters that are hidden from the end user. D. To allow filter push down in stacked calculation views. Answer. B. 6. Which of the following approaches might improve the performance of joins in a cube calculation view? Note. There are two correct answers to this question. A. Specify the join cardinality. B. Limit the number of joined columns. C. Use an inner join. D. Define join direction in a full outer join. Answer. A. B. 7. Why would an SQL developer work with SQL script? Note. There are three correct answers to this question. A. To automate the generation of the code. B. To pass parameters from calculation views. C. To exploit additional data types. D. To include a BAP syntax in the code. E. To implement conditional logic. Answer. B. C. E. 8. What are the key steps to implement currency conversion in a calculation view? A. Enable the measure for conversion choose client, source, and target currencies choose conversion date and rate type deploy the conversion rule. B. Enable the measure for conversion. Choose client, source, and target currencies. Choose conversion date and rate type.
Assign the conversion rule to your calculation view. C. Assign semantic type. Choose client, source, and target currencies. Choose conversion date and rate type. Define an expression in a calculated column. D. Assign semantic type. Enable the measure for conversion. Choose client, source, and target currencies. Choose conversion date and rate type. Answer. D. 9. Why would you write your SQL code in a procedure instead of a function? Note. There are three correct answers to this question. A. To modify the content of a table. B. To process input parameters. C. To implement SQL script syntax. D. To develop a dynamic analytic privilege. E. To generate multiple tabular output data sets. Answer. A. B. E. 10. Which are types of calculation views? Note. There are three correct answers to this question. A. Cube with star join. B. Composite. C. Cube. D. Dimension. E. Semantic. Answer. A. C. D.